Hello, this is Carlo. Welcome to another After Effects tutorial. So before we begin, um, just have a quick look what we're going to be trying to create today. So let's just have a quick look. Okay, so pretty cool. Uh, we've sort of got a horror sort of wood scenario. Um, this is all used in obviously done in After Effects so there's just going to be a couple of things you're going to need uh, before we get started so let me just close that okay so first of all you're going to need some trees and if you go to TF3DM uh, you could pause it uh, quickly if you want take a sort of look at the website there is a selection when you type in trees um, there are a few trees you can actually download um, for your project make sure you do select OBJ because we are going to be working in Element 3D and obviously Element 3D um, at this current stage in time only works with OBJ files so you're going to need to go here download the trees nine trees should be fine um, and then you'll be good to go um, also you're going to need the Halloween pack from videocopilot.net which is a three free plugin uh, for Element 3D so let's just begin so we're just going to create a new composition keep it about 10 seconds long or how long you want it to be it all depends on how long your your composition is so we're going to make a new solid uh, like column size we're just going to call this element 3d quickly we're going to right click effects video copilot and element 3d let element loads and then we're going to jump into our scene setup and we're going to look for the Halloween pack like I say this is a free pack from videocopilot.net if you go to their blog channel um, you should be able to find it and we're going to select on our patch which is just a little patch of green like so and we're going to click OK to add that to our scene now once that's added we are going to go to layer new camera we're gonna make it about 35 mil and we're just gonna click OK and with our camera tool we're just gonna sort of come down to about half res so we can work comfortable we'll just put it into position like so and also just straighten out like that now you're, you are going to need a black ground picture um, I've got one sort of on my desktop here you can use any picture you want it's entirely up to you but I'm using this uh, tree line thing and I'm just going to drop that in like so and go to my project and I'm just going to put it into my comp okay so I've got my sort of background plate here you can use any picture you want it's entirely up to you and what we're going to do is we're going to go into our effects and presets and just type in CC environment. We're going to get our CC environment plugin and we're just going to drop it on top of our background. And what that will do, that will let us have a 360 degree rotation of our picture. Like so. Okay, so let's just zoom out and all we're going to do is to scale the picture down to size so we can get the whole sort of picture in make it just a bit, a bit more stretched select our element 3d plane and just bring that into this sort of position come into our group one come into our particle particle replicate and change it from point to plane and then what we're going to do is we're just going to play around with our particle look so we're just going to make it a hell of a lot bigger um, and we're just going to bring the rotation down just put it down just a bit like so make it a hell of a lot bigger and we're just going to get our uh, just bring it along and scale it up and uh, maybe zoom out a bit Select our and just scale it up so it's it's quite big it, it doesn't have to cover all of this um, because we are going to be doing some color correction on this 
as well okay so um, once that's done we're gonna sorry, open it back up uh, jump into our scene setup and once you've downloaded the trees you want uh, throw them into your video copilot pack um, here I've got my trees here um, and I'm just going to say select this tree here and I'm going to click on it and I'm going to put it into group 2 take it off group 1 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the leaves off so I've just got this sort of dead looking tree like so and then I'm just going to click OK and then I'm going to jump into uh, group 1 and I'm just going to basically play around uh, with the size and the bits and pieces of my tree so let's just do that now so let's just scale that down about there let's have a look what we got here pie call look so let's just scale that down and then we're going to sort of go to our replicator and punch the replicator to about 30 and then we're just going to find our so position put it to about here like so and then we're just going to look for our scattering which is here and we're just going to go bosh and just scatter now it's entirely up to you how much you want to sort of scatter it but it's about sort of <coughs> positioning these trees um, the best way you see you know how you want the sort of scene to look so it's entirely up to you guys how you sort of scatter it um, and sort of scale it um, let's just okay, position here about here let's go plane here and let's go to our group 2 particle look replicate point change it to a plane as well and let's just push our scale for our four just a bit a little bit over so we can see where it is and let's just close that open our size punch our size all the way up like so and then close that go back into group one and obviously um, start playing around with our trees now obviously some of them are um, going to be floating so this is where you're going to use your camera to sort of play around with the look and obviously you can scale these to a sort of different uh, way let's bring these up to so about here like so so as you see we've got some depth so when we orbit our camera um, we're going to have some nice sort of uh, depth in it so let's scale that up let's scale this up we want to sort of fly past the branches as well because that also always makes it look pretty good as well so now let's just close that go back into our group 2 and let's just punch our floor right up because we want to sort of give it an element that you know this is all sort of messed up this floor do you know what I mean it's all sort of eerie and so on and so on okay so that don't, that don't look too bad so let's just close that now what we're going to do is do a bit of uh, CC color correction on this but uh, first of all we're going to go new I'm going to create an adjustment layer and then we're going to come up to effects we're going to color correction I'm going to do our curves first and just bring a because we're doing the curves on this so we're just going to bring it so it looks a bit sort of dark just like that same with element 3d and go to effects color correction curves and i'm just going to bring it down because i want it to be quite sort of eerie and dark do you know what i mean to right there it's entirely uh, you know entirely up to you guys how you sort of want to position uh, your trees um, for when you animate but what we're also going to do now is we're going to click on our background and we're going to go to effects we're going to go to color correction black and white and we're just going to click on black and white and we're going to do the same 
for our element 3D layer uh, color correction and we're just going to hit black and white and that just gives it sort of like a really sort of dirty you know sort of corrupt sort of old evil look now obviously like I said before guys you know it's entirely up to you how you want to place your trees um, and how you want to replicate them um, into your scene but first of all if we come up to our camera hit P on the keyboard we're just going to select a keyframe for position bring it across and obviously when you sort of animate your scene so we're going this way um, as you sort of animate obviously your background is sort of going to move with it as well so it's going to it's going to look quite good as well so okay so we've just moved it there now as you can see um, this flooring is not flush with the background so we're going to fix that in a minute but as you can see um, it don't look too bad if we give that a bit of a RAM preview as you can see it moves quite nicely and quite fluid but as it comes sort of over here you'll see that you're going to see the background image as well so we want to sort of have this all sort of blended in um, to the scene I'll show you another cool trick as well um, in a second uh, once you've done this you can um, sort of green screen yourself or add a green screen character um, and if you place it in between the element and um, background layer obviously you can have someone moving in the woods as well I'll show you um, hopefully what I mean by that um, but obviously you think you know when you're doing your color correction I always do my color correction in Premiere Pro um, afterwards when I add my sort of soundtrack but as you can see here um, this bit is sort of not covered so if we just stop that as you can see this bit's moving look like so like here so what we're going to do is we're just going to sort of bring the background down just slightly to go with the frame and that should sort of fix your problem with that now um, like I said green screening um, you can sort of green screen with this technique as well um, and I'll just show you how you sort of quickly do that I've just sort of got this this, this, this guy here um, it's just a picture um, it's not a moving moving image but um, you can use this sort of technique with uh, moving images um, as well so obviously let's just drop him say here um, we're going to go to effects and we're just going to key him out uh, let's go key light 1.1 bosh um, and obviously we've got him in the scene now we can sort of scale him up just a little bit and what you would do is you grab him and just put them in between the two the element 3d layer here and then just position him sort of you know where you want in the scene um, and you could sort of have him you know sort of moving along if you wanted but as you can see sort of come behind there so let's just drop him here you can sort of have him walking along or you could have um, an image of yourself you know a video background uh, move, moving green screen but obviously when you when you sort of moving him you know move him to how you know sort of like the videos move inside and so on but yeah that's just a little tip that I wasn't gonna actually put in the tutorial but obviously you know you, you're gonna make yourself a woods um, you're gonna want yourself in it you might want yourself in, in the scene um, and that's basically how you would do that um, within the scene obviously you know color correcting him because obviously the rest is sort of black and white so we can go to effects uh, let's go to color correction and make it black and white um, and as you can see it sort of matches the scene as well um, but that's if you want to put yourself within the scene within your 3d scene but let's just sort of get rid of him for now so um, pretty sort of painless um, bit of visual effects but it does work quite nicely as you can see let's just round preview that and the beauty because this is um, an element 3d layer um, what you can do is you can zoom in as well as um, if we get this get our camera um, you can sort of zoom in as well as um, pan around so as you can see it's sort, sort of I can go here if I round preview this yeah pan around and it is sort of zoom in as well which is a really nice effect 
as well. Obviously, color correction is based on taste, but if it was me doing it, I'll just quickly show you how I would color correct it. As you can see, it's sort of zooming in as well. And you, you can sort of go beyond the bushes as well, beyond, through the trees as well, which is great, which is a nice, as you can see, which is a lovely effect. Right, so, color correction. I always start with the background first. Um, let's go to um, effects. Now, normally for color correction, I use, um, where is it? Where is it? I've got a plugin here, if I can find it. I'll, I'll either use something from HipFilm or I would use Convert, Film Convert. Now, obviously, that's a pricey plugin, so um, what I'll do is I'll try and color correct it uh, from here. So, usually, curves is the best way to color correct um, a scene. Um, I'm going to make this sort of you know really sort of grungy and dark make it a little bit lighter now this is what I do I'm going to go and create a light I'm going to make a point light uh, keep it to about 100 and click OK All right now instantly that's given us I'm going to drop the light just below the uh, just above elements like that and then I'll go new light and I'm going to create an ambient light put that to about 50 no put it to about 40 actually click OK and then I'm just going to open up my light options and then just reduce it just a bit like so to give it that sort of evil sort of look then I'm going to open up this one and I'm just going to play around with my position my light position uh, about there and as you can see, it's given a nice around preview. This it's given a sort of creepy, and it's also brought up the 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 look of the wood as well and the bark as well, which is quite nice. You can um, add a glow to your background if you want, so you can create a nice sort of lightning effect in the background as well. Um, but like I say, it's purely based on taste. It's how you sort of wanna you know set up um, your scene. Um, let's go and create this we can go to our adjustment layer and we can go to effects we can go to simulation and we can even create a rainfall so if you look in the background there you know we've got some rain you can add some rain to your adjustment and let's just run preview this you've got some rain as well but what you need to do is add the rain because the rain's in the back, also add the rain to your element 3D layer as well. So if we go to effects, simulation, uh, CC rainfall, as you can see, it's brought the rain um, at the front. So if we run preview this, what I'll do is um, slow, sort of slow the rain down as well. That might size a little bit smaller, not smaller. Um, speed, bring it up, wind, bring it up a bit of wind. And it's from preview that. So yeah, that looks bad. So the uh, it's, it's limitless what you can do with this sort of scenario, or with this sort of scene um, within After Effects. So I hope this has been interesting and that this has helped you guys out. Um, thanks for listening, guys, and um, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers, guys.